We have team coverage of this severe weather outbreak, one of the hardest hit areas, Upper Sandusky, up north of here in Wyandotte County. 10 TV's Chuck Strickler joins us live. And Chuck, what kind of damage are you seeing out that way? Well, Kristen, the storm blew through here about 6.30 tonight, and the high wind caused a lot of damage. Take a look. Right across the street here, that barn caved in right onto that RV. You can also see some power lines here just hanging like strings of spaghetti. And a lot of that debris blew right across Warpole Road, right down this driveway. You can see right here all the debris just all the way down there for about 100 feet. And as you can tell, the wind is still pretty forceful right now. Some trees are also down right here. And take a look at this, a piece of metal gutter wrapped and twisted around that tree branch. Now, AEP says about 500 people are without power right now. Despite that, the folks living around here are making the best of it. People living in dozens of homes just west of Upper Sandusky spent their Sunday night in the dark, including 74-year-old Dave Grove. He don't think nothing of it. It's just one of them things that happens. That's nature. That's Mother Nature. He says the storm hit fast. I just got home, and the, the wind was blowing real hard. I just got in the garage and all of a sudden the rain hit. The rain came down in sheets accompanied by forceful winds and that's when the power went out. It just everything went black. When the storm blew through, the temperatures dropped and the skies cleared quickly. You can even see the full moon there. But the winds did not let up. The winds blew down several utility poles, bringing wires down with them, causing the power outage in this area. The winds also knocked down trees and collapsed this barn, sending debris everywhere. It's got a lifetime guarantee on it. I just either get my little security light and go around and get the candles. Dave Grove says he rather enjoys sitting in his living room in peace and quiet, safe and sound inside his home. He says no electricity is a minor inconvenience for him having lived through about five hurricanes down south. I don't worry about anything. The Lord Jesus Christ take care of me. Now, Dave Grove lives with his wife just off County Road 330. He says he has a generator just in case. He says he doesn't mind firing it up, but he hopes the power will be back on sometime tonight or early tomorrow. In the meantime, crews are going to be very busy fixing those power lines, and homeowners have their work cut out for them cleaning up all this mess here. Live in Wyandotte County, Chuck Strickler, 10TV News.